On this episode of China Uncensored, warning, explicit content. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. If you're watching this, you must be looking for some explicit content. Well, you've come to the right place. China Uncensored's got the hottest, explicitest content you can find anywhere on the internet. You want uncensored teens in Hong Kong protesting for democracy? Yeah, we got that. And I bet you're craving a look at my expose on the death penalty. And hey, it's cold up in the Himalayas. Better warm up with some uncensored Tibet. So it's come to my attention, thanks to viewers like you, that if you turn on the safe search mode on YouTube meant to block explicit content, China Uncensored doesn't fare too well. First, my channel doesn't even show up, though individual videos do. You also won't see my most recent episodes about the protests in Hong Kong. And if you do a search for China Uncensored Hong Kong with safe mode on, the top hit doesn't even play. You also can't find my episode about Tibet or my most popular episode with almost 5 million views, The Death Penalty in China. In fact, I'm amazed by just how many of my episodes are flagged as explicit content by YouTube. So why is this happening? Well, YouTube says it uses community flagging, age restrictions, and other signals to identify and filter out inappropriate content. It's like safe search mode on a Google search. So, okay, I get that maybe my episode last year about the uh, erection of the New People's Daily Building might have had some mature content, but what about my recent episodes about freedom and democracy in Hong Kong? I mean, those are hardly explicit content unless you go by the dictionary definition of explicit, which is fully revealed or expressed without vagueness, implication, or ambiguity. So okay, maybe I am guilty of that. But there's another way my videos can get blocked. That is, if users flag them as inappropriate using the report button. Of course, I know you would never do that. I'm referring to those other viewers, the ones who, well, just read the YouTube comments below my videos and I think you can guess. And there's not much I can do about that unless I censor all the users or language I don't like. And you can probably understand why I don't do that. So what can I do about this problem, short of me borrowing a page from the CCP's playbook? I can ask for your help. Yes, you are in fact the key to keeping China Uncensored alive on the internet. When you share my videos via Facebook, Twitter, email, or whatever, whoever you share them with can see the direct links and they won't be hidden. So keep watching, keep spreading the word, and keep China uncensored.